What is up goalkeepers, this is Leon from Leon Goalkeeping Reviews and today I'll be handling some questions that you guys have asked me on YouTube as well as Instagram over the past few weeks. Uh, the next question comes from at DLawGiver on Instagram and he asks, why do you, uh, why did you become a goalkeeper? And that's a great question. Um, I decided to become a goalkeeper because um, firstly, uh, when I was young, when I started out in goalkeeping, uh, I was really fat. I was a fat kid and usually, um, usually if not always, you always get a fat kid to stand in goal because he's the biggest and he can cover the most area of the goal post, uh, of the goal area. So um, that was how I started uh, goalkeeping. But um, as soon as I started taking it a little bit more seriously and started to save more balls, I realized that, hey, saving these balls actually make me feel very happy and very contented and therefore I decided that hey maybe perhaps this is my calling, this is my passion and this is what I really want to pursue. Um, once I got out of the army um, of my national service, uh, I decided that hey I'm going to treat this more seriously and I started to look out for more um, for more opportunities to play in competitions, in leagues and that is where I feel my passion even more and that is how I got myself to the standard that I am today. Uh, even though I know that I'm really not that great as of now, I do aspire to be even better and that is uh, that is why I'm just going to keep on training um, and keep on trying to get better and faster. And definitely all your support and all your tips uh, from all of you guys out here really keeps me going and, that, uh, and it really helps me so much. Um, next question, it comes from uh, at it's morphin time 247. Uh, he's on Instagram and he asks, what is your favorite part of goalkeeping? Well, uh, as much as I would say that I love high dives and those uh, one-handed uh, top corner saves, um, that isn't the number one part of it. I really love goalkeeping when um, when I, I'm able to stop a shot uh, and hold on to it, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one shot or a really hard shot uh, inside of the penalty box and I'm able to dive and hold on to the shot. And you can see that your teammates are like so happy um, that you have managed to turn the tide of the battle and uh, they come up to you and they're like, oh, great save and they're clapping from outside, but the game is still going on and the adrenaline is really pumping uh, in your body and you can hear your heartbeat in your ears. Yeah, that is my favorite part of goalkeeping. When you are in a match situation and you manage to pull off that kind of save and you and you force the counter attack on your opponent, that is my favorite part of goalkeeping. So thank you. It's morphing time two four seven. That's a great question. Uh, and the next question uh, comes from at Lennon Privat on Instagram. And he says, "Say hi, hi Lennon Privat. <laughs> uh, thanks for leaving the comment right there." Um, yeah, next question comes from Ed Lewis Berger from Instagram and he says, Do you think the Singapore soccer team will do well in future years? Oh, this, this is a really difficult question. The Singapore soccer team, um, as compared um, to the international standard, isn't really that great as of now, even though I do wish that they can be better um, than where they are at now. I mean, uh, against Japan, yeah, we held on to a draw, nil-nil, uh, uh, at the first leg of it. But at the second leg of it, we lost 3-0 um, to them, which was pretty bad. However, I do see a little bit of progression because I see um, one of our best goalkeepers, uh, Hassan Sani, he's going to the Thai Premier League. Uh, and now, um, Iswan Mahmoud, um, he played... Uh, in the both matches against Japan and now he is uh, currently training in Japan on a training stint so I do expect uh, Singapore's uh, soccer team's standard to gradually improve over the years um, if it doesn't I really pray that it does um, and currently now the Football Association of Singapore is undergoing a revamp and I hope and pray that uh, it will be for the better yeah so thank you so much for the question Lewis uh, the next question comes from Isan Hisham and he asks what are the best gloves that I have ever worn um, well um, Isan my my favorite pair of gloves there are many gloves that I really enjoy uh, and, I, and, I, and I'm being completely honest right here even though yeah I do get some uh, gloves from companies but I'm being completely honest right here West Coast goalkeeping um, has the most comfortable gloves that I've ever used and yeah, I, did. I can give it to them for comfort. Grip-wise, Brave Sport Singapore has given me the best grip ever. Um, I really love the Trident and currently I'm using the Brave Sports Asura. 
Uh, the review is going to come out real soon. And I really love the grip on Asura. You can use it for like four or five matches in a row and you don't even get the grip. Um, the grip doesn't really like wear out. And you just have to give them a light wash after that and the grip comes right back again. So grip wise, comfort wise, it goes to um, it goes to West Coast goalkeeping. Grip wise, it goes to the British Sports Asura. Um, structure wise, I can say cells. Uh, Cells Singapore has provided the best uh, structurally. Um, their Rep Excel Supersoft 3 has been really great structurally, but the Adidas uh, Predator Zone Pros have also been extremely comfortable and um, extremely grippy and very structurally sound as well. So technically speaking, <laughs> I really love all of these gloves and I can't put, um, I can't name the best gloves that I've ever worn. All of these gloves are fantastic and even though some gloves might be my favorite gloves and might be the best for me, I'm sure that it might be different for you because I might like a negative or a roll cut, you might like a hybrid or a flat cut, so it differs from keeper to keeper. Now the next question comes from at Kai T Latte, and uh, I would just like to give him a shout out. Hi Kai, um, he's a Kai, is, Kai has been um, a good friend of mine. Uh, we take we took a similar module here in university, and now he's also playing a little bit of soccer. I hope to see him on the field soon. Um, and he asks, "Do you prefer rope finger gloves or gloves with finger protection, and why?" Uh, well, I I generally prefer rope finger gloves as compared to flat cut gloves, uh, because um, the rope finger gloves really give you a much greater uh, contact with the ball. And I'm seeing and I'm testing out new gloves consistently and I see that hybrid cuts also get a little bit of uh, maximized uh, contact with the ball. So I do prefer rope finger gloves as compared to flat cuts. Um, and do I prefer gloves with or without finger protection? Generally speaking, I prefer gloves without finger protection. However, um, my left middle finger usually gets a little bit weak and uh, it has a recurring injury right there. So sometimes when I feel that it's a little bit shaky, I do put a finger safe uh, in my middle left middle finger and that's why I really prefer gloves with removable finger safes. So yeah, finger protection um, is a no for me. Uh, but it's a yes for my left middle finger and yes i prefer roll finger gloves over flat cut gloves all right goalkeepers that does it for the second part of my question and answer video so i'll see you again next time for the third and final part of my question and answer video if you like this video do remember to like share and subscribe and i'll see you again next time goalkeepers